The bright sunny days continue. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci and we have clouds to the north of us, clouds to the south of us, and we are stuck in the middle with plenty of sunshine to paraphrase Steelers wheel here. We have a nice day on tap, low humidity as well across the area. You are looking at plenty of dry air all throughout the mid-Atlantic and really stretching from Maine all the way down to Mississippi here with that high pressure pretty much right overhead. Now we're going to fast forward to Saturday here because that was to be the big weather story of the week. However, looks like Saturday itself is going to be dry and we'll be talking about a weather Sunday here. So this is Saturday at 8 a.m. High pressure is in store and it's blocking all of this tropical moisture from coming in. Now, here's the thing, because that high pressure system is close to us, look to where that low pressure system is. Pretty far away. It's in Indiana and all we're expecting is just a spotty evening shower. And then with that low pressure still staying far away, still relatively dry into Sunday or during the early part of the day, and then we should see some morning to midday rain with just a cold front. In short, the further away this low pressure system is, the less rain we're going to see. Sounds simple, but just want to reiterate the point. And by the time we get towards Sunday evening, then we are dry. Then we look forward in time. Let's go all the way to Halloween here and then into the first part of November. This is a lot of cold air, and guess what? It is coming our way as we go forward in time. And as we go into Two weekends from now, we'll be talking about temperatures where you're going to need the jacket on all day, and we should see some of our first freezes of the years on a widespread basis in South Jersey. For today, though, no freezes in store, mild temperatures, about five degrees above average. Not a cloud in sight here in South Jersey. If you're heading out on the water, it is as calm as calm can be. Winds are light, waves are low. We are just in low tide now. We'll be going into high tide later today. For tonight, temperatures will range all over the place again because we have the clear sky and the calm winds that promote something called radiational cooling where this heat from the day escapes straight out into outer space. The only exception along the shore where water temperatures around 60 degrees keeps it milder. That's why we have 51 in Cape May, 42 in Memora, and then we go over to Cumberland County. Vineland has been the cold spot in Cumberland County the past couple of nights here, so we'll say 30s for them and 49 in Fortescue. We go to Friday, Rinse, wash, repeat. Pretty much the same story here across the area. Just a couple of more afternoon clouds, but all fall plans look to be a go. Mainland seven day forecast. Again, most of your Saturday is dry. Saturday evening shower too. I think the overnight hours are dry in the first hours of Sunday morning. Then not a washout during the day on Sunday. Then we're warming up from Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. It's the warmth ahead of the storm. We will get some rain around that Halloween time period. It is possible trick or treating will be wet. And then after that, we're talking about very cold temperatures. At least least for early November here in South Jersey. Temperatures may be about 10 degrees below average. For the latest in South Jersey weather, you can follow me on social media, Facebook and Instagram at JoeMarkWX, Twitter at ACPressMartucci, or the press of AC.com slash weather.